Hi, this is Stuart Talley, and I'm the partner at Kershaw, Cutter, and Ratanoff uh, in charge of the Depew ASR cases. Uh, recently, there has been a lot of media reports about settlement discussions between Depew and plaintiff's attorneys on basically settling every Depew ASR case filed around the country. Uh, the reports in the media are that the, the numbers being thrown around are in the range of $300,000 a case. Um, unfortunately, we, we cannot comment on the numbers or their accuracy, uh, but at the same time, we can give some information on how a potential settlement is likely to be structured. Uh, and we've received lots of phone calls from individuals who want more information about that issue. Um, one of the big issues that a lot of people have been asking is whether they actually have to have a lawsuit on file uh, in order to participate in any settlement discussions or any settlement that occurs. Um, and unfortunately, the answer is yes. Um, if you haven't filed a lawsuit, uh, you will not be able to participate in any settlement that occurs. And it looks like a settlement is in the works and um, is potentially likely to occur in the next couple of months. Um, so if you don't have a lawsuit on file or haven't contacted an attorney, it's actually very important to do that right away if you want to have any right to uh, participate in that settlement. Uh, another question we've been asked from a lot of individuals is whether uh, they need to call a lawyer or uh, initiate a lawsuit if they, hadn't had, if they haven't had a revision surgery yet. Uh, and the belief, I think, with a lot of people is that uh, if they haven't had a revision surgery, then there's really no need to file a lawsuit or call a lawyer, um, and that you know their rights will be protected down the road if they do need revision. Um, unfortunately, the law doesn't work that way. Um, in almost every state, the statute of limitations on a claim uh, is going to start to run from the date you find out you have a recalled hip. Uh, and the problem with that is that if you don't act or file a lawsuit uh, within the appropriate time frame, and in most, most states it's two or three years, depending on what state you're in, um, you could be barred from filing a lawsuit down the road. So if you have a HIP and haven't had it revised yet, um, it is important to, to get a, a case on file. Um, the other question that's asked is, well, if there is a, uh, a settlement and I haven't had revision surgery yet, how would, how would a settlement deal with me? Um, and the answer is that uh, in, in this case, the most likely scenario that we'll have is a situation where uh, there will be a settlement fund that's set up to handle the claims of individuals who haven't had revision surgeries. Um, and although I can't comment on specifics, what I can tell you is that a settlement fund uh, might include a provision where if you need a revision surgery, say in a year or two from now, uh, you would get a certain amount of money uh, from that fund. Uh, the problem is, is that if you don't have a case on file, you won't be able to participate in that fund two or three years down the road. And if you don't have a lawsuit on file uh, at that point in time, uh, you're on your own. Your rights will not be protected. So again, it's, it's very important to contact an attorney, um, have them uh, review your case, and get a case on file for you um, if you haven't uh, done that yet. Uh, the last thing that a lot of people have been asking us is, um, you know, what kinds of uh, factors would go into determining how a settlement fund would be apportioned amongst all the people who have cases. Um, right now, uh, at least in the media, they're reporting that a settlement fund is going to be in the range of three or four billion dollars. Um, and the question is, how is that money going to be apportioned? Um, well, typically in cases like this, uh, settlement funds are apportioned based on objective factors, factors that can be verified from plaintiff to plaintiff. Uh, so for example, uh, they might have a formula that's used to determine how much each person gets and, the, and the, the factors that would go into that might be your age, your cobalt and chromium levels, uh, whether you had to have the hip revised or not, uh, whether you have two of these hips or not. Um, if you had any kind of complications after your revision surgery, that would also be taken into account. And so um, that way they can fairly apportion the money so that people with really severe injuries will end up getting more than people that have less severe injuries. 
um, the, the specifics of what's going to be included in a formula like, like that. We can't comment on that at this point, but I can tell you that um, those are the types of factors that I would expect to be included in any kind of formula to apportion settlement proceeds. So if you have a Depew ASR, uh, as I indicated, it's very important to get in touch with an attorney um, so that if there is a settlement and it looks like um, one is, is definitely in the works at this point, um, that you can participate. Uh, you can reach us at the phone number on our screen or through our website. Uh, and when you call, you can ask for me, Stuart Talley.